Hello everyone, Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. Thank you very much for joining us today on the Fluid Art Express. Greatly appreciate you being here every week. We couldn't love you more. I hope you've just watched um, Shambi from Shambi Fluid Art. Isn't she just a spectacular artist? Love that woman to death. One thing I do want to mention before I start to paint today is um, all the well wishes and good thoughts I receive for my son. I was really overwhelmed and to be very honest I, I couldn't thank you anymore and I suppose from my one message the other week if anyone else has just gone out in the world and asked someone if that's if they're okay well my tears on camera <laughs> was um, a-okay but once again guys thank you for all your well wishes and support it was um, greatly valued by me and Darren and we really couldn't thank you anymore so today, I just lost my palette knife right from the start. Are you joking? Give me a second. What? Do, oh, thank you, Wombat. You're welcome. See what emotion does to the bubbles? I'm just not used to it. Okay. So what we're going to do... It's that silver shiny thing. Yeah, I'm not real good with emotion. So, I usually try and ignore it. What we're going to do today... I just thought we would lay out this funky style pillow, sort of a silhouette look. Pretty sort of groovy there as it is, I reckon. But what we're going to do, we're going to load up some palette knives. And what I'm going to do is just use the, even though it is quite a large piece, we're still just going to rock the small one because I just want to get some really cool effects where I've got these white lines here. So what we're going to start with is a this little piggy we're going to go with enchantment we're going to go with a little bit of constellation gorgeous two perps rocking them for my sis christy creations by christy if you haven't subscribed to her channel i want to know why so the next color is a gorgeous um custom color wombat aka darren actually makes me and it um, starts its life as um, Athena. A little bit of um, Dioxidine Purple in. And it's a stunner. And the next one I'm going to rock is a bit of Solar Gold by the Mighty Perlex. Really cool pigments. Really well priced too, which is even better. Then I'm going to rock the Bubbles favourite. Southern Ocean Blue by the Mighty Matisse. And then I've actually got a really, you know what, I'm going to change my mind on that one because it's like clay glue. So we're going to ditch that ghost colour. That interference colour is out because I've um, picked the skin off colours before, but that one had really unruly lumps. So we're going to go in with our first palette knife here. we're going to start like that so you can see by doing it that way especially with them white lines in the pillow see how we're getting them really cool edges that are in the white so it sort of really highlights that color bit of separation there which i think is pretty cool so i'm going to load up again so all i'm doing that much ca so you can see i can hang it upside down for about Five minutes if I like really and nothing is dripping off so that is more than enough so now we're going back to our enchantment back to our constellation and rocking our custom wombat special yeah I know I'm spoiled <laughs> nothing like living with the guru of color I tell you that man could make mud look good. Seriously. Alright, second one loaded up. I'm thinking now we might rock it and slide it through the centre. And stop there. Alright. Some of them colours coming through are cool. 
It's all right, Bubbles had to pause. <laughs> Got stuck to my paper towel. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you. You should try and paint with me. It's an adventure, I tell you. Nothing normal about the bubbles. All right. So, with this one, I'm going to keep my um, loaded palette knives in the same colour order. So, the first two times I've mentioned the colours is exactly what I'm doing now. Tell you what, you really do get emotion on with this too. So, exactly what it looks like, that's it. So let's do this one here. There we go. One more, I think. I'm going to leave that really bold lines there because I'm sort of digging them. I'm feeling it. And I'll tell you what, guys, if you are watching today, I'd really like to give a shout-out to my whole Express family. Taslima Mayor Art, Creations by Christy, Shambi Fluid Art, and the fantastic Cat and Tony Pender from the Hippie Dippy Painter Man. If you haven't subscribed to their channels, guys, Please make sure you do. These are just absolutely incredible people I call family. And they spend their time every week to produce a video for our Fluid Art Express. And um, honestly, that um, just by you supporting them and subscribing to their channel will really mean a lot to them and me. So if you get the chance... Just hit them buttons. Doesn't cost you a thing. But really goes a long way to the artist. I know they would greatly appreciate the support and love. So as I said, doesn't cost you anything. All you got to do is hit their channels up and hit a button. I really want to see um, Shambi, Fluid Art and the Hippie Dippy Plain Man. Hit a thousand subs by the end of the year. So get on board, guys. Let's do this for them. All right, I think what we might do. Do I do patterns? What we might do, just roll the skewer through that for a minute. Tell you what, too, if you um, haven't seen um, Epiphany Creations, Casey Black, tell you what, that girl has got a really funky, cool ch uh, channel. You'll see her cool, stylish 10-second dance party before each video. Why don't you check her out? She's definitely a breath of fresh air to this art world. Likes to try a different challenge each week. Just really cool. Alright. So. Just going to wash a bit of a pattern through there. So I'm just having a play right now because seriously. The end of a long week. That's all we want to do. Experiment, have fun. Now, I think that one might do that one, guys. I think we're going to lift my monster cup because if I don't. Create on my monster cup, I knock stuff everywhere. I can admit it. Now, let's see how she opens up. It's 
So this technique tonight too, today, whatever it is in your part of the world. Cass Sutton taught me that from Canberra. <laughs> so this one though, honestly, takes very little paint to give it a go, especially in the colour and the pigment range there I use because you're using a, lot of, a load of palette knives. A little bit goes a long way. You're using your two different um, colour pillow paints and you can see I use next to nothing in that white. So great for beginners because a little bit goes a long way and you can get some really cool funky effects which pretty much rocks my world because I love the unique and the weird and wonderful. So what we might do just before we do these final spins, see how a few of these went hoo <laughs> over there bit skew whiff and wonky what we've got now is the opportunity just to tidy them up give it a little bit of definition so all we've got to do is just really run that skewer through and see how it's just sort of tidied it up straight away so same thing over here we're just going to open that up a bit bit more definition sort of with the silhouette style as I call this one I really like crisp defined lines I just think they give it a little bit more of elegance through it so this bit I'm really not a fan of so if we just pick certain bits we can break it up see like that straight away so this one here we can go in and out of that and see how it just gives it that real clean crisp sort of look I think that just gives it that little bit of something yeah that's a lot better you agree a lot of fun too because at the end of the day all we're doing is experimenting having a little bit of fun it's what life should be all about you only live once right may as well enjoy it definitely learnt that over the years all right i think we're going to give that our final spin out and then we'll get our famous cameraman to give you a close-up reel of that one. Being honest when I do these types, I'm really not too fussed whether I spin fast or slow. Just sort of stop halfway in between a spin and have a look. So one of the best tricks that um, Wombat actually taught me, get to this stage, swipe, swipe all the um, excess off. So now we've got a clean spinner more or less. Well, as clean as bubbles can get anyway. <laughs> it doesn't get much cleaner than that. But we can give it another spin. And this way we can see if any more is really running off their edges. So we know if we've got to spin a bit more or whether she's done, if nothing else, is overflowing off them sides. So that looks pretty darn good to me. So I'll pop that one up. A bit of a silhouette looking amongst the colour. So we'll pop some pesky bubbles. As the great Nathan from the Fine Art Distraction would say, wipe its bottom. He is famous for that saying and to be honest, it's one of the most accurate sayings you'll get in the paint pouring community. He is spot on. So now what we'll do, we've wiped our bum. Let's get rid of them pesky bubbles that always seem to find their way into my paint with the British black. And that's a okay. We can pop them. It's no big deal. So I'm hoping, while I've been popping these pesky bubbles, that my amazing wombat 
aka Darren, has been doing my flyover reel for me and we should be just about done by now. So I hope you enjoyed that one this week guys and thank you very much for joining me. So next up after me we have the amazing dynamic duo the Tony and Cat Pender, my big sis and big brother. Make sure you come on over and join us in the chat. We'd love to see you there and see what they've got to offer us this week. So until next time guys, thank you for watching, take care, stay safe and I will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day.